I'm a little upset. I can't find, this is an airtight container. But I can't find the little one. I don't know what the hell I did with it, and I can't wait any longer. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to make the homemade barbecue sauce. It's real simple. It's page 45 in that uh, PDF I shared before. And what I did is, let me flip this around so you guys can see real quick. Everything out. Why is the flash on? Anyway, I measured everything out. Garlic, onion, Himalayan, pink sea salt, black pepper. I got the Worcestershire sauce. Apple cider vinegar. Tomato paste. Water. And I'm going to mix it in this bowl. Now, there, the light just went off. Don't mind my hand. Let me see if I can turn this down. Real simple. So you're going to put everything. Hopefully, I won't spill it. Everything's going to go into this bowl. And I'm going to stir it. And I'm going to put it in that airtight container and put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. So there's the water and the Worcestershire sauce. The tomato paste. Chunky. That's a half a cup, right? Uh, tablespoon of black pepper, ground black pepper. This is one fourth teaspoon of Himalayan pink sea salt. Uh, same thing, one fourth of onion powder. And same thing, one fourth garlic powder. Now, the only thing I didn't measure out was the pure maple syrup. It's just right here. By the bang, by the boom. We need two tablespoons of pure maple syrup and two tablespoons of um, tablespoon. This one, the bigger one. I need two of these. One, two. Guys, this is it's so simple. I mean, the cleanup is the, the worst part about it, but everything else is really simple. Make sure you stir this because you see that cinnamon at the bottom. You want that all stirred up. So you're gonna shake, 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 shake. I'm a little sweaty because I was running in place while watching Mahatma Gandhi, and then I was throwing some weights around. I still got a workout, so you guys can't see my face is chopped off right now. But anyway, we're gonna put one, right, two. That's it, right? By the bing, by the boom. So now everything is in here. I'm just going to stir it. That's all I'm going to do. And when I stir it, make sure it gets all mixed up nice and good in here. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. But this is the homemade barbecue sauce that I put on the pita pizza. The barbecue chicken pita pizza. And it's banging. But I'm also going to show you the homemade, well, the White House approved pita pizza because they want you to use this sauce as a base on the pita pizza. Sometimes I just use marinara, organic marinara. You see, oh man, this stuff makes me happy, guys. Let me move this up so you guys can see the smile on my face. You see, can y'all see in there? I don't know if y'all can see in there. But this is the homemade barbecue sauce. And it's banging. I'll make this now so I don't have to do it tomorrow because I'm going fishing tomorrow. Wish me luck, because if I catch any type of fish that's eligible for me to keep, it's going to be in this clean eating group, especially if it's a brown trout. So I'm going to just stir this up so there's no chunks. You want that nice consistency texture of barbecue sauce. It smells amazing. It really does. And then, unfortunately, I got to put it in this airtight look. Let me tell you guys a secret too. You see this little band right here? Without this band around the rim, it's not airtight. But if you break your band, don't go out and spend $20 on a new one. It's like four for 20 bucks. Just go, go out and get a rubber band. Works just the same. So we're gonna pour this right in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Barbecue sauce. B -b 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 barbecue sauce. I'm in love. I might actually go ahead and make um, a pita pizza now. And I'll just make the chicken. So, yeah, see, the little container would have been better. would have filled the whole thing. But um, I put all the ingredients in the comment, I mean, in the thread. You guys can see all the ingredients. Or you can just go to that PDF. I said it's page 45. This is the equivalent two tablespoons, right? Is the equivalent of a half of a purple, which is good to know. Because the first time I ever used the purple, I filled the whole thing up. And I was like, wow, it's way too much sauce. But you live and you learn, right? So, 
waste none. Get all the sides. Get it all in here. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. It's truly amazing, folks. Truly amazing. And the little bit of time it took me to make this. I mean, the worst part about it is the cleanup, right? Nobody likes to do dishes. But let me tell you. The healthy benefits of this compared to you buying barbecue sauce in the store, just check the sugar. Sugar is what's killing Americans right now. People think, oh, fat-free is good. But when you get fat-free, they're replacing it with sugar. Sugar is the cousin of heroin. So I'm going to go like this because... Mmm, so good. I'm going to cap this off. And we good. We good until... See that? You see that? We are good until next week, Monday. This will be the barbecue sauce for the pita pizza. You can also put this on your chicken before you throw it on the grill and after. It's amazing. Guys, if you don't try this, I highly suggest you do try this. All the ingredients are common ingredients. The only thing I had to go out with buy this Worcestershire sauce because we have some, but it expired like a year ago because I don't really use it that much. But that, apple cider vinegar, Garlic powder, onion powder, pink Himalayan sea salt, ground black pepper. And once again, I grind it myself and put it in here. Maple syrup. I got the cheap ShopRite maple syrup. Just make sure it's just got ingredients, pure maple syrup. That's all you want. And then tomato paste. You need a half a cup of that and a half a cup of water. And then you're good to go for the week. So... There's the homemade barbecue sauce. I'm going to go finish my workout because I need to go push play. But first, I got to do these damn dishes. And I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I put everything in these little containers. There's four more damn containers that I got to wash. But anyway, it is what it is, guys. I'm excited. This is exactly what I need to be on point. Um, it's real simple to go to the store and buy some Sweet Baby Ray's. It's my favorite barbecue. It used to be my favorite barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's. And then I started looking into it. There's so much sugar in it. It's just killing us. The sugar is what's killing us. This right here is enough to last me the week. Probably a little bit longer. I do got to grill my chicken, which reminds me I got to go downstairs and get it out the freezer. I'm going to grill that tomorrow. And I'll go live doing that. Um, I was going to grill it on the grill, but it's hot outside, so I might just hook it up on the Foreman grill in here. I got some um, thick cut, boneless, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and that's going to be part of my meal. So I will go a little bit, I will go live a little bit later when I do the bar, I'm um, sorry, the taco seasoning. Guys, you got to try the taco seasoning. It's from Fixate. All of this can be found on your uh, Beachbody On Demand. In the Fix 8, this can be found under the Core to Force, my favorite program, because I did have my best results in 30 days with that. So with that being said, I just wanted to come live and check in on y'all. You see, I got this sweat dripping down my, my face still, because I got to get it in when I can. So I'm going to go get it in right now. If you guys have any questions, reach out to Brandy, Elise, or myself. We are here to help. And like you guys, I'm here more of a challenger than a host because I need to get back on point with my nutrition. You know, all this working out and eating ice cream is no good. All this working out, eating bacon, bacon from time to time, portioned out is good for you. It's a healthy fat, but the way I was eating it was not good for you. I did buy turkey bacon. It was on sale at the grocery store. It was like 99 cents a pack, so I got like five packs of turkey bacon. Um, turkey bacon, egg whites. I also drink this every morning. We have like three of these downstairs because I'm a fiend when it comes to this. Don't like the taste of it, but the benefits are amazing. With this a little raw local honey and some cinnamon. Cinnamon's a natural fat burner too, guys. Make sure you're putting cinnamon and stuff. With that being said, let me get up out of here. We have the Cour de Forest barbecue sauce. Healthy barbecue sauce approved white house approved so we good to go that being said y'all have a great day peace